So I'm just gonna put the remote and the hot to the uh, hot side of a battery, and then I'm gonna put the negative to there. And you see the little protect light on. This amp always does that when it's booting up. And there it is. It's gone in the power, so it's working. And before, like I said, it just stayed in protect mode. That green light right there is the uh, on light. Let me see if you guys can see. That little green light right there tells me that the amp is now working with those bad transistors removed. So this amp that was staying in protect is no longer staying in protect. It's working like it should because I've removed those bad transistors so the short circuit protection is no longer going off. So just that quick we found out that this amplifier that would not come on if I replace these transistors will work again. It might not even work now but you're going to have diminished power and I, I, I'm not advocating that you need to uh, replace these uh, transistors that are bad. <clears throat> So, how do you do that? If you look right here at these transistors, you see that each one has three pins. And uh, here's where I removed the old ones from. So what you can do is go to uh, some company that sells transistors. I actually I bought mine from DigiKey. And when I ordered them, I asked them to send me uh, transistors from the same lot. That means they were made on the same day, probably from the same silicon, and they're going to have identical properties so that uh, when this amp is driven, all of the transistors see the same low because they're all the same strength. You don't want to have varying types of transistors, not type, but varying uh, uh, tolerances of transistors here, or transistors that were made at different times because they're going to have different values and that means that one transistor is probably going to be working harder than the other one. So if I wanted to repair this amp what I would do is replace those five bad transistors and uh, this amp would be almost good as new. It will work just like it did um, the day you purchase it and if you send it in for repair that's probably what the uh, repair person is going to do. However since this is my amp and I want it to be just like it's off the uh, showroom floor, I'm also going to remove these other five transistors and replace them all because of what I just talked about. You want all of the transistors in your amp to be made, come from the same lot or the same batch because if they are not, since they're not identical, they'll vary different positions varying quantities of the load and the ones that take the most abuse will fail faster than the other ones. So I want them all to be identical so I'm going to just remove all of those transistors, replace them all and this amp will be good as new. Okay so uh, maybe we'll do something else in the next video.